for DJ Fletch. <laughs> That was a satisfying video to watch. I've watched it yeah. this morning too, and it's uh, I love it. I love it. Yeah, um, it, is, it, it was. It was satisfying is a good word for it. It was. Yeah, I liked it. I liked it. I, I love the that type of uh, easy laid back music, Steve. So uh, I am chilled. Really chilled. excited to talk about this device too. Um, there's a few reasons. One. Because whenever we talk about service devices, Steve, we talk about how we we're trying to bring innovation back into the Windows space, right? Yeah. And yep. it's it's not just us, of course. It wasn't just Microsoft saying, hey, be better. Well, like obviously, Lenovo and HP and Acer, Asus, they've all done great jobs. Yes. Yeah, they have. Yeah. But also, Intel is someone who really pushes, um, particularly nowadays, because They've gone from being the one and only brand everybody wanted to being one of a few brands. And so this is our first Intel Evo device we've talked about, Steve. Huh. And Intel Evo, have we have you do you know what it is? Because I absolutely have chucked you in the deep end with the stream. Today. No, no, you 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 are right <laughs> to chuck me in the deep end, mate. Like my <laughs> credentials should say I should know about it, but I'll be honest, I <laughs> I'm I'm not I'm not across it. I'm not across it. So that's, which is good because I'm sure you that's are. All good. <laughs> yeah. I, Intel Evo, like I just love the ideas of it. So Intel are bringing out their um 11th generation chipsets, mm -hmm. their 11th yeah. generation processors. That's always cool. Like we always see improvement increases and stuff like that, but with Qualcomm entering the computer space with AMD just doing amazing performance yeah. heavy things intel have had to change their game as well and so the evo branding is a mark of them changing that game so if you guys see any laptop pc whatever arrive in your store with an intel evo um, badge on it it means that it has to have qualified for a few things for that um one is that it has to have instant on um it has to have at least nine hours of real life battery usage. So not just nine hours of minimum brightness video playback. It has to be tested to real life scenarios. Um, and they're bringing in more and more AI uh, onto mm. these chipsets. So similar to kind of the storage we've been telling with Qualcomm recently. Yeah. Um, huh. So this is going to be one of those first Intel Evo devices that comes into store and the AI that's built into it um, in combination with Intel Evo, but also just what Lenovo is bringing to the party is amazing. So this device looks beautiful. I think we can all agree on that. It's yeah, made it out of aluminium. It's thin. I'm sick of talking about that stuff recently, Steve. So I'm going to take it down a different track. Um, yeah, look, go, go, go for it. Go, go for it, mate. So, uh, you're right. Like I think that <laughs> yeah. everyone, everything we talk about is light, thin, cool. So yeah, like, cool. Like, let, Everything's let like that now. Yeah, <laughs> so, exactly. <laughs> what what's happens in this device is 
the the Evo chipset and Lenovo they've they've worked together to make it so that the cooling is very adaptive. Um, so depending on what you're doing, the cooling gets ramped up, ramped down to give you even longer battery life. Mm. Um, but also there's cool things like um, there's something called uh, awareness. Uh, sorry, I'll get the, the proper name of it. It's called um, glance by mirror metrics in here too. And what that does is if the computer's camera actually sent someone looking at your screen over your shoulder, you'll get an alert on screen. No. Um, yeah, it's so like Lenovo, they've always been hyper aware of security. They yeah. are taking it up to another level to stop people being able to see you type in your pin or do anything like that. And huh. that is amazing. Um, but Steve, my car does that when there's a car behind me. <laughs> it's the same technology. That's why your car does it. Your car also has glance by mirror metrics in, in it. Right. Um, so it does that. It, it's also, I think, you know, getting put in the really, really new cars, which sense if you're paying attention to the road, if you're mm. steering where you should be and stuff like that. So really cool new technology already. Mate, that's on. good. That that's secure. <laughs> that is, I mean, that takes security to a whole new level. Like, I mean, I guess no one really thinks about it, thinks about it like that. I mean, there are, with, with Windows Hello, you're able to unlock the device using your face or your fingerprint, like, but there are still people that type in pin numbers, right? And yeah, it's not yeah. something, it's not something that you think about. It's definitely not something you, you really think about that someone's going to be lurking over your shoulder, just keeping an eye on your pin. Everyone does it at an ATM. At an ATM, you're like yeah. hyper aware of where people are because it's your money. But as soon as it's your computer, you're not as hyper aware. And if a computer is uh, is mitigating that uh, possible breach for you, I mean that that is that's pretty impressive. That's yeah, <laughs> like it's it's impressive. And uh, look, where you've highlighted a message, Steve, we are giving away four Microsoft Zip hoodies today as well. So if you do have a question about these devices or you want to wait till the end and we've still got some prizes we will be doing a quiz based around what we've talked about today but Too ask easy. us tell us uh about maybe another lenovo device you're looking forward to or another oem device we want to hear about it absolutely well missa missa says she loves the device and i know that missus had her hands on a couple yeah. of um of lenovo devices in the last few weeks and uh she is loving this lenovo bandwagon that we have jumped on because i That's... mean they're they they've all i mean they've always done good devices i mean even back, we talk about the yoga range right they've always yeah. done good devices back from when uh when ashton kutcher was the marketing manager for that <laughs> yes and, uh, yes we used to have ashton kutcher basically in his pants doing yoga <laughs> in uh in retail stores uh, which was uh interesting amazing <laughs> interesting <laughs> Oh, but like particularly, so like, yeah. particularly like I mean, the Lenovo devices from everything from ThinkPad, which is prominent throughout a lot of schools. I don't think anyone would have gone to, not gone to a school and not seen a Lenovo ThinkPad at some point. Um, but then having like uh, the, the Yoga Range, uh, they they they've got such a deep range of devices, but they're all designed with a few key things in mind, right? And you can see that those Absolutely. signatures kind of trickle through their range. Yeah, and like, I mean, we've already talked about privacy and, and the um, glance by mirror metrics, which is built into this device, but even going like further than that, they've always got privacy shutters on these devices now, but they're premium devices and a yep. lot of them are manual. So, um, you know, there's no issues when it comes to the software side of things. Um, we've, we've got, um, they're also really built around watching videos, I find. So we saw Dolby Atmos and, and stuff referenced in that video. So, you know, they're tuned to sound good when you're watching movies. This, this is a huge thing for me. Like, I, 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 yeah. I'm, a mus I'm a musician. I know AP is a musician as well. And uh, Fletch, I know you love your music. But the, the quality of sound that comes out of a device is really important to me um, because I don't always listen to music on my headphones. I sometimes, uh, quite a lot of the time, I'm listening to it out of the speakers or I'm watching movies and stuff um, on, on a laptop, not using headphones. And it needs to have an immersive audio experience. Um, and I think that that is 
for, for me, that's really important. I want to have a rich, immersive audio experience. But when you think about how small these speakers are that yeah. go into the devices and the power and the, the depth uh, 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 like that they can produce, for me, it's phenomenal. And it's... I always, I'm always a, I'm a big appreciator because it's, it's, sometimes it's overlooked. And I know that yeah. a lot of a lot of companies we do it, OEMs do it. Call out who they who they've got. Like we work with Dolby Premium Audio, Dolby Atmos. You've got Bang and Olufsen with with HP. Like people work really really hard to get decent audio experiences on their devices, but it's overlooked because Absolutely. It, it's an underappreciated piece of technology. Yeah, and so Mesa's been working on some videos to go along with these. Um, so yes. she's had her hands on the Slim Carbon. She can confirm the audio is amazing um, and that the typing experience is amazing as well. And Ooh. this has a keyboard that's designed to match the colors. So the keys or and, and the way it moves match perfectly with the look. And obviously the functionality is amazing. But kind of going back to built for, you know, entertainment. Mm. The other AI that they've got built into this, you're going to love it, Steve. It's something <laughs> something else that's amazing. So it's called Super Resolution. Um, and they're up to not 1.0, but 2.0 of Super Resolution now. And what that means is technology magic happens, kind of like super sampling in, in the Xboxes. Okay, yeah, yeah. But even if the the um, resolution you're watching is smaller than what this unit can display because it can display QHD, so quite good quality. It'll mm -hmm. upscale it and it'll it'll make sure it goes to max um, max resolution that it can eke out of it, um, and that's all built in with with this technology called Super Resolution. So it's truly truly awesome. Um, Steven says uh, there was some mention of the iSafe screen in the press release. Sounded like a cool feature. Love the auto blur shutter. Yeah, the, um, being able to blur your background. Steve, you've been doing it a lot with your uh, RTX uh, technology as well. Yeah, I'm all over it with, uh, <laughs> but having to use third party third, third party products yeah. that's built in. That's uh, that's pretty pretty, pretty awesome. uh, handy. Yeah. So, so there's another yoga that we will highlight in a second. Just the last thing that um, I did want to shout out. And as I'm saying it, I'm already forgetting what that is. Oh, no, I've remembered. I've remembered. Well, I didn't mate. do my faux pas. <laughs> I'm so good. <laughs> so the other really cool thing about these um, yogas and this yoga Slim 7i, um, which is, is the main one we're mentioning right now, is... The new Intel 11th Gen graphic cards they come with has a um, a new internal GPU, um, a new discrete GPU called the Intel Iris X. And uh, AP, unfortunately... <laughs> I, whilst you were talk, talking, mate, I was like, look, everything you're saying is interesting, but Imran's come up with a very valid valid question very... that we haven't highlighted. <laughs> Where is our third musketeer? Well... Uh... <laughs> we've got a uh, uh, Tweedledum, Tweedledee, and Tweedledumma is not around, unfortunately, and uh, <laughs> he, he he was unable to make it today. But we all, I'm sure, we all send him love, and uh, yeah. will, at no at, at at some point, I'm sure he will watch this and realize that I've called him Tweedledumma, and uh, <laughs> everything will be all right. Oh but Imran, I'm glad that you I'm glad you noticed something was missing. Probably yeah. the quality. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but the quality's never been here, to be fair. That was never missing because it was never here. But uh, oh. yeah, no, AP will be will be pleased to know that you are thinking of him and that you recognize that he wasn't around him, man. <laughs> oh, man, that's awesome. I, uh, yeah, so uh, Intel Iris X, yeah. You <laughs> <laughs> so this is a really cool um, advancement in discrete graphics technology, Steve. This um intel iris x is really built to close the gaps between dedicated gpus and internal gpus and intel have been doing this for a long time they've got these mx series graphics cards as well which aren't quite either um but they're in between but what this is so powerful particularly on the top end processes that you can play triple a games it doesn't mean that it's going to replace like, you know, an RTX 2080 or 3060 yeah. or whatever. It's not going to give you the same frame rates. But if you don't mind um, not getting those, you know, 
60 to 120 fps frame rates if you're okay with gaming on an awesome looking machine which you can take around anywhere that you can use for work and at home and do word processing uh then this is the machine for you because virus x is making big games in that space that's cool but uh, i think it's knowledge bombs yeah. today I know. I'm, I've I've been learning. I've been trying you've to been, learn. All you've been yeah. you got up early and you've been practicing your. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You've been doing your research, boy. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> but I want to I want to talk about one more yoga device, and uh, and Ryan's already kind of hinted at it. So uh, let's watch another banger. <laughs> 